Welcome to the eBlex Better Returns Programme Cyclical Fertility DVD. We've put together a series of chapters which cover all aspects of cyclical management that lead to improved health, welfare and improved productivity of your herd. Body condition scoring is a key tool for suckler producers to help them optimise health, welfare and fertility whilst minimising calving difficulties and production costs. Body condition score at calving is closely related to how soon cows start cycling after calving. Cows in the correct body condition score at calving have a shorter interval to first heat and get in calf sooner. In general, cows that are too fat at calving time suffer with calving difficulties as a result of heavy calf birth weights and fat deposition narrowing the birth canal. Conversely, cows that are too thin suffer calving difficulties, can lack stamina for calving and can have poor quality colostrum. Feed costs can be reduced by exploiting the cow's ability to lay down fat when feed is plentiful and cheap, usually at grass, and mobilise body reserves when feed is expensive. There are various targets for spring calving cows and slightly different targets for autumn calving cows. The main thing to think about is body condition score at calving because that tends to roll forward and affect body condition score for the rest of the season. So for spring calving herds, we're looking at a target body condition score of around two and a half. For autumn calving herds, they're inside, so they tend to be slightly fatter and a body condition score of three is okay then it's important to manage body condition score at service as well to maintain fertility and then minimise loss of that embryo after conception. So you're looking at a rising plane of nutrition during service and for six weeks after service. For spring calving herds that are on cheap, plentiful grass, cows can put on body condition which they can then mobilise during the winter and save costs on winter feed. The two options for managing body condition score in autumn calving herds is restricting access to grazing and timing of weaning. Timing of weaning can be a good option for managing body condition score in either type of herd. Delaying weaning can be suitable for cows that have plenty of body condition and um, can afford to lose some of that. If cows are thin then it's advisable to wean their calves slightly earlier so that the cow can regain body condition score and not be too thin for calving. It's strongly recommended that there are no big changes to feeding or body condition score in those two months prior to calving because that can cause calving difficulties. So the reason we're going to be condition scoring is just so we get an idea of what condition she's in. We can look at doing it now and then we can, as she's about to probably go out to the bull, she's recently calved. We can then look at do it again later on in the year, probably at housing time, so we know how to manage as we're taking the calf off. And again, near calving time, just so we get an idea through the year of what we're doing. Um, we do it from the left-hand side here, um, partly because on the right-hand side, we might have the co uh, complication of kidney fat, which may be in the way. And you're going to use your thumb. The first point I always start with is under here under the um, horizontal processes of the vertebra, where you can get a really good feel. You can put your hand under, you can feel what sort of fat cover you've got, both along the top, but also along the points of these vertebra. You, how much pressure you need to put on to feel the individual uh, vertebra, it gives you a really good idea um, of what condition she is. If she, this, this heifer is somewhere round about two and a half, I can feel the ver uh, individual vertebra quite easily um, as I feel along. We've got other points that we can check, we can also feel along the ribs and again there's a little bit of cover over there but not a lot so again I that would fit with my two and a half so I can feel the individual pro uh, ribs quite easily. If we look at this point as well it's quite a nice point where you can see it's sort of dipping in, the muscles dipping in, which means you know, if she was really fit, and we'll see that in the other one, it sort of bulges out. 
You can also feel and have a look at the fat pad in this area here around the tail head, but that tends to be um, one of the first areas that fat's put on and the last one that it leaves, so it can be a little bit of a dubious point. So I use that as, a, as an extra really to these other points. Okay, so if we compare this girl to the last girl, again, we'll start in this area because it's a really easy place to start, a good place to handle. I need a little bit more pressure going over these vertebra, a um, little bit more cover on the top, a little bit more pressure to get to feel those individual processes. Ribs, a little bit more difficult to feel individual ribs on there. So there's, again, there's a little bit more cover on there, taking quite a bit more pressure. Yeah, this bit's a little bit flatter than the last cow. We haven't got that. We haven't got that dip. So there's more cover in here. There'll be more muscle and more fat in there. Um, so again, it's just showing she's in slightly better condition than the last one. If we look up at the tail head, we've just got a little bit more cover over there. We've still got hollow, but we haven't got the um, we haven't got quite as much of a hollow as a little bit more cover along the tail head. So when we look at all those areas, I would probably condition score her around about a three, which would be absolutely ideal for this time of year. Okay, and um, this girl different altogether to the last two. If we, <laughs> Try and have a feel along here. Very, very difficult to feel individual processes. Um, a lot of cover on the top. Very difficult to get underneath. Feel across the ribs. Nearly impossible to feel individual ribs. If we look at this area again, it's a little bit more sort of bulgy. We've got a little bit more cover here. Um, everything's a lot more rounded. We look at the tail head, there's quite a lot of fat. You can see the fat there and there's, a lot of, there's not much of a dip in here. So we've got a lot, lot more cover on this girl. And she's probably heading for condition score of near a five, which is probably too fit at this time of year for going out to the bull. Um, she's got more chance of losing condition and less chance of getting in calf in that condition. And when we're looking at condition scoring, consistency is key. So it needs to be the same person that's doing it each time that you do it so that you know whether you're detecting a change in that condition score or not. And it's important that you are looking at condition and you're not judging from confirmation. So different breeds will look slightly different, but actually handling, handling these main points isn't going to be any different from one breed to the next. It's still going to give you a good indication of what's going on.